I have a solid color added to my timeline. We can start with a simple example by adding a border to the entire screen. You can open the effects menu and search for border. This effect cannot be used on every object, but I have one workaround. You can search and add the adjustment clip. Drag and drop this effect on top of the adjustment clip. Now you will see the border. To change the style of the border, select the clip. Open the inspector and go to the effects menu. In here you can adjust the softness of the border, the width or even make it rounded. In case you want to reset any of the properties, just double click on the name. You can also change the color of the border or the opacity by changing the alpha. This effect can be added multiple times and the style can be adjusted as well. I'm going to leave the white color and just play with the width this time. In case you need to remove one effect, simply use this delete button. Perfect. Moving on, let's apply the same effect to one video clip. This border looks perfect, but let's try to make it a little more complex. Select the video clip and using the inspector, in the video tab, change the zoom to make the clip smaller. You can see that the border is not following the clip. To fix that, we will need to use another effect. The current effect can be removed. I can move the video clip on top of the existing layers and from the effect search for paper. The effect that we will need is called paper edge. By default, looks like this. But with a few adjustments in the inspector, this is a powerful tool. You can change the size of the border, but the most important part is the edge contrast. Move the slider all the way to the left and the paper is now transformed into a clean border. By default, the style is box, but you have four options available. Box, linear, Gaussian and circle. Use the circle in case you need rounded corners. You can also adjust the size by changing the edge intensity. In my case, I prefer to use only the border and leave the edge intensity as default or even zero. The position of the border can be changed as well using the sliders from the edge position. Using this effect, a shadow is added by default. All the parameters can be changed as well. In case you want to add this effect multiple times, it's possible. To change the style, select the second effect in the inspector and change the values as you need. The next examples are related to graphic elements. I'm going to extend the solid color under both images. Let's start with a simple Resolve logo and let's try to add the colored border. Like before, we have a full screen border, not exactly what we need. Let's remove this effect and add the paper edge effect. Just make the edge contrast zero and the border is ready for you. I think it looks nice if I reduce the softness as well to zero. In this case, changing from box to circle, the results are more or less the same because the object is already with rounded corners. Moving on, we have an arrow, a more complex object. But the paper edge effect is powerful enough to handle this scenario. Select the clip and change all the properties like before. Change border edge and shadow to make it perfect for you. The next example is related to text or titles. In Resolve you can use text or text plus. The colored border can be used only for the text plus, the same for the paper edge. I'm going to remove the border and use only the paper edge effect.
reduce the edge contrast and change the style as you wish. In case you change the size of the text, the current border is following the text. The last example that we are going to cover is a border around a person. I'm using a new clip for this. Right click and open Infusion page. In case you use a free version, you can use the Polygon tool, but I have the studio version and I'm going to use the Magic Mask. I'm going to add two lines and the mask is ready. You can track the mask both ways in case you want to add the border to a moving person, but for this demo it's enough. Moving back to the edit page, add the paper edge effect, change all the settings in the inspector and in a few seconds your border is ready. Now you can be creative and add some text behind. This effect is perfect to create YouTube thumbnails. See you next time.